Number review 5. Try these questions yourself when you've done them. Then check the solutions. Here's question 1. Question 2. 3. 4. Five, six, and seven. Let's start with number one. So one fifth is a common fraction. We'll be doing sharing one pound by five people, and they get twenty pence each. And decimals, you can write that as no point two. 75% again is a common percentage which means 75 out of 100 which is 3 quarters. Note point 3 change to percentage means multiply by 100 moving the decimal two places to the right and it is 30%. Number two, first we change it to percentages, so times each number by 100, so this basically is 60%. This one is 65%, and this is 60.5%, and this is just 6.5%. So this is the smallest one. See the second one, third, and the fourth. Now you write the original numbers. So note point note six five, note point six, note point six o oh five, then finally note point six five. For three, one kilometer is equal to one thousand meters. So one point six to multiply by one thousand is one thousand and six hundred meters. Number four. So, 2 litre, 8 glasses, but if we do, divide both sides by 2, so we have 1 litre equal to 4 glasses. Now, there's many methods we can use. If you times both sides by 12, we get 12 liter equal to 12 times 4 is 48 glasses. Then we need another two glasses. So we need another bottle then. So in total, we need 13 bottles. Or you could just do 50 divided by 4, then round it up. Now the perimeter is 24, so the 4 equal side, I mean 24 divided by 4, so that's 6, 6, 3.9 by 4.8 first we write 
39, so one decimal gone to the right, times 48, one more decimal gone to the right. Now we do the long multiplication here, 8 times 9 is 72, then we carry 7. 8 times 3 is 24, 24 plus 7 is 31. Then you add 0 here. 4 times 9 is 36. Then carry 3. Then 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is 15. 2, 7, 8, 1. Then we have to pay back 2 decimal places to the left. So therefore, 3.9 times 4.8 equal to 18.72. Number 7. First we change this one to the equivalent fraction by multiplying top and bottom by 2. So we have 4 over 10 minus 1 over 10. Now we've got the same denominator. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Similarly here, we multiply the first fraction by 4. Second fraction by 3. Now we have the same denominator, 12. This gives you 8 plus 3, so I give you 11 here. Three, that's logical, just multiply top with the top, bottom with bottom. 